Google Maps. It isn't really ideally suited for electric cars. Or is it? Well, it's just changed in a very big way. And boy, am I excited. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you to our Patreon supporters. If you want to be a Patreon supporter of the channel, I'll put a link in the description below. And thank you to our members as well, YouTube members. If you want to be a YouTube member, I'll put a link in the description below to that as well. Now, Google Maps, big changes have just been made. In the past, Google Maps really was not set up at all for EVs, but now it is. Google Maps has updated its system recently to determine the best route of travel for electric vehicles. And this makes complete sense, right? EVs now, they're approaching 10% of global vehicle sales. Why would Google not want to cater to 10% of customers? According to Ars Technica, a recent Google Maps update will allow EV drivers to find the most efficient route wherever they want to go. The feature was not previously available because of the differences in efficiency calculations between gas vehicles or petrol powered cars and electric powered cars. The program now incorporates algorithms designed with help from the National Renewable Energy Lab in the United States, and it can help drivers minimize their environmental impact as well. But, 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 here's the thing. Thing. For over a year now, Google Maps has offered drivers the ability to find the most efficient route to travel to save fuel, but only gasoline or petrol. After plugging in a destination, the app would place a leaf icon next to a route that represents the most fuel efficient way to travel. According to Google's help desk, the software uses factors such as average fuel consumption in given areas, steepness of the road, regularity of hills, if the road's paved or not, stop and go traffic patterns and types of roadways to find the most efficient path. However, gas and EVs are very different in when and how they are efficient. Quite hard to understand, but I mean, EVs, for example, are much more efficient in city type driving, whereas gasoline powered vehicles are more efficient in highway driving than they are at city driving. Gas vehicles are more efficient at highway speeds than at lower stop and starting speeds because of the nature of internal combustion engines, the heat efficiency, and the fact that slower speeds generally mean more stops and starts that require the vehicle to use far more gas than continuously stable speeds. The other thing is, right, gasoline powered vehicles, almost none of them have a method to actually recuperate braking energy. So that's one of the big, big benefits to EVs, right? You brake, you recharge your battery. Electric vehicles operate the opposite way to gasoline vehicles. The faster they go, the more energy they use. And this difference has previously prevented EVs from receiving accurate, efficient route calculations, according to Teslarati. However, the program will now account for those differences via a recent Google Maps update and find the most efficient path for EVs based on the way they are inherently very different to gasoline powered cars. When you open the app, you can tap your account picture in the top right, settings, then navigation settings. As you scroll down, you'll be given the option to prefer efficient routes and select your engine type, under which you can pick from gas, diesel, hybrid, or electric. So now Google Maps, you can see, has actually three different options. After making the selection for EV, when you select your next destination, you'll see a green leaf label next to the most efficient route. If you tap to see more details about your route at the bottom of the screen, you can see how much more efficient the app believes your route will be. So you can actually see efficiency numbers on different routes. Now for the more tech savvy, many have already heard of a better route planner. While their technology of allowing you to select your specific vehicle beats out Google's offering, Google Maps isn't far from the routes tested by William at Teslarati, and he said that they offered a more polished experience and a more extensive feature set. So definitely, if you use currently a better route planner, when you drive your EV, worth considering the Google version as well and just see which, is, which one is better, test them both out. Because I'm gonna guess that some will be better for different vehicles or different countries, depending on how well they're set up for those areas. The update is gonna be awesome. This is really cool stuff, especially for those who are just getting their first electric car and would like to maximize their range quickly and easily, and even those who want a no fuss solution to EV route planning. Hopefully, this indicates that more EV functionality will soon be coming to Google Maps. Now, obviously, Tesla drivers are, well, a very large number of EV drivers are Tesla drivers. Can you use Google Maps in your Tesla? Not really, but you can still use it on your phone. So if you wanted to, you could actually use, you could actually check your Tesla route planning and compare that to Google Maps on your phone and just see if there's any differences. They might actually be very similar because Tesla also uses similar functionality for its 
maps system too. So what you're going to find is actually it might not be quicker. This is not about how quick the route is. This is about how efficient it is, about you using the least amount of energy to get from point A to point B. Obviously, if you select the green leaf, that's the route that it's going to give you the cheapest and the most efficient possible route, but it may not be quicker. In fact, in many cases, it's actually going to be a little bit slower. Obviously, if you just want the quickest route, just stick with the standard Google option. It'll come up when you type it in into the screen. Now, obviously, the other thing worth considering here is if you're wondering why is it not working on my phone? Well, this new update applies to Google's new update to the Maps feature, and it may or may not have actually updated the Maps feature on your phone. If you've got an iPhone, some people are saying it hasn't updated yet. It's just a matter of time before that update happens. So just hold on and wait, and it will be here soon. Now, what I want to know is, would you consider using this? Do you think it's worthwhile? I think it's really cool to see this stuff, but I think what would be even better for Google to do would be to have something like how Tesla has electric vehicle stations as part of your planning route. If they had that, it would be the perfect all around solution for getting from one place to another in an electric car. But as always, the future looks amazing. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.